turning right at the roundabout at the end. This is travelling down the A6 towards uh, East Midlands Airport, for example. We're turning right, third exit. Better to change lanes earlier rather than later. We justify being the right hand lane, of course, because we are positioning to turn right. It's the third exit that I'm taking. Note the new speed limit as well, because that carries on into the new roads. I normally got a third clutch up here on the approach to these ones because it's really open. I don't want to slide too much. Um, you know, if it's clear, it's likely to be clear there. If it's not, I'm going to control my speed accordingly, so it is. Counting my X's as I come across. There's one, and I can see two. So I know when I'm going to signal. What I am going to do here is change lanes. You see, I'm spiralling across here. I'm checking my mirror's blind spot. You can't see that signaling there. I'm getting the left hand lane, or else, if you don't do that there, you're going to find it difficult to move across later because the traffic starts coming out at the roundabout to go straight on and you've got a real problem because you've got a car on the inside of you then so that's why I changed lanes there I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to use the right hand lane on this occasion it's often quite busy on the left and the road's so short that you can use the right now just note here that I'm keeping right and I'm checking my mirrors just here at the point of merge just or before it merges of course because um, sorry the, um, I stayed right I could because there was nothing on the approach to the roundabout that said I couldn't so I hope you found that useful now remember the other thing that people do here that they've been doing 40 and 70s and whatnot for so long they, they, they neglect this sign the orange background is because there's been an accident here before uh, but it's 30 from now on so be very very aware of that and you can't go straight on in the right hand lane on this roundabout if you did you'd cause problems as you can see here there just isn't enough room for that merge it's slightly wider but you, you would have problems there I really wouldn't advise it even though it doesn't say anything on the floor even though it doesn't say you can't specifically is what I mean Just, just coming down Shardlow Road now. I am going to keep the camera on for the purposes of this because we're almost there. Uh, we're going to come up to two roundabouts. And this is a, 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 a direction where you could be driving in to finish your driving test in Derby. And uh, a lot of people screw these roundabouts up. Which is, yeah, I suppose the purposes of these videos is to uh, make you aware of it and help you to, or give you something, some structure to, to practice in your private time, or um, maybe making your instructor aware of it. it. Depends who you're learning with, I suppose. I'll say no more about that. So we're going to go. Uh, it's straight on at the first roundabout. You can't see them yet, and turn right at the second roundabout. Okay, so you can just see the traffic lights ahead. So they're just beyond the traffic line. So we're straight ahead. The first thing that we're going to see is two lanes. We're going to take the right-hand lane of the two. This is the best route to the test centre that I'm going to show you that requires no lane changes. Okay? So no lane changes, less fuss, less risk of anything going wrong is, is the motto. So right-hand lane, and then it becomes two here. So we want to take lane three. One, two, three. Lane three becomes lane two on the roundabout. Be careful that people around you could steer into your lane there. Be very, very careful. Now you see from the diagram in front, we're gonna turn right, second exit. We're in the middle lane, and you can see from the arrow in front of us there on the floor, the paint, that we can turn right in this lane. This is the best lane to use if you're going back to test centre, because in the new road, we'll end up in the uh, left-hand lane, which is exactly what we want here. Can you see? So the left signal on here, and hey presto, we're in the left-hand lane. We've not had to do anything. Um, so yeah, increasing our chances of something not going wrong on test. Note as well, just sign off on this, that it is 30 on this road. A lot of people get it wrong. 